know it was asked, but I couldn't scroll up and find it. Uh, it's not this question. Uh, what do you think of dinosaur deniers? Are you aware of these people? Um. Uh, uh... Uh, this is people that actually deny the existence of dinosaurs? Yes. The dinosaurs are made up. They're a hoax. People go and they dig up rocks and they just shape them into bones. No. This is a real thing? Yes. It, well, it seems like it's probably a real thing, but we're in the territory where like, whether or not it's real is kind of hard to say because it's so ridiculous that maybe people are just making it up. But they seem serious. At least some of them do. That is absurd. <laughs> yep. I mean, that is just... That's crazy. Yes. Yes, it is. I've never... I've, never, I've certainly... If I... I don't think I've ever met someone that held that opinion. That, uh, it's fairly uncommon even in, like, Young Earth creationism. I don't... I don't know that I have... Yeah. Um, let's see... I'd love to play you the dinosaurs are not real video. Do it. Just do oh, it. God. See if you can play it, JB. We, we probably can't play it on YouTube or we'll get pulled, but we can play uh. the the audio, right? Play the audio. We'll put the video up on the screen and play the audio for you, and you could just fucking. Your head could turn beet red. And oh. Smoke's going to come out of your ears. Because the thing is about these videos, and this is the issue that I have with not just videos, but also with blogs. Mm. <laughs> like, be, people, you're writing things and you're not, you're not being checked as you're going along. Right. So it's, it's just you broadcasting an idea. It's not a conversation. And because of that, you can give off the illusion of expertise without mm -hmm. being checked. Here it goes. Dinosaurs never existed. And by oh the way... Oh my god, Eric Dubé? This is the, the flat the, earth guy. The, yeah, the guy that does 200 proofs the earth is flat <laughs> that everybody has debunked. Did you know they made up dinosaurs? People in the school system to uh, perpetuate this six billion year old earth. Oh, wait. The math doesn't work out. 14 billion year old earth. What do you think you're doing? So I was reading the news and I read about how the other day they found all these dinosaur footprints in Beijing. Oh really? You're reading about dinosaur bones found in Beijing? Well that's cool. Doesn't explain I got to my apartment. Okay. You know, I like dinosaurs. You know, I got this dinosaur necklace here. So, yeah, maybe maybe you'll win me over if you tell me more about these dinosaur bones that you read about. So I did some Googling on the topic about dinosaurs and you know, whether or not they're real. And I 
I found out there's actually a book called How to Make Your Own Dinosaur Out of Chicken Bones. Really? Did you even read the book? The book talks about how birds are dinosaurs. And we can prove birds are dinosaurs. One way to prove it? Here's a bird skull. The very back, the temporal fenestrae, something that archosaurs have. That proves that they're archosaurs. Wanna well, know what dinosaurs have? A temporal fenestrae in the back of their skull. Dinosaurs have a sense sacrum and open as a tabulum. And guess what? Birds and dinosaurs share that feature. That's one of the things that proves that they're dinosaurs. Really got me thinking, like, is there like a whole group of people, a whole huge group of people that are actually fabricating evidence to perpetuate the myth of dinosaurs for whatever reason? <laughs> For whatever reason? You mean for no reason? Because there's no evidence that people just made it up. And it's not a myth. There's no such thing as the myth of dinosaurs. You don't even know what a myth is. A myth is a genre. Whenever people use the word myth, they don't even know what it even is, because according to scholars, it's a genre. But if you mean that, oh, it's just made up, because I know that's what you mean by the word myth. It's not made up, why? Here's evidence. Here's a real Spinosaurus vertebrae that I have. The proof is literal lahiza right in front of you. It's right in front of you. <laughs> I mean, all science really starts as theory, right? Did you really just say that? All science starts as theory, right? <laughs> In the everyday vernacular, a theory means an unproven idea. But in science, that's a hypothesis. In science, a theory means it has evidence. It means it's been proven. <laughs> Whenever anybody says, oh, it's just a theory, that tells me you're obviously not a scientist. You all know what else is just a theory? Gravity. So, next time you go skydiving, just jump out of the airplane without a parachute. Because remember, gravity is just a theory. Oh yeah, what about germ theory too? I guess germs are just a theory. Dinosaurs that really look like animals that we know about. Dinosaurs also kind of look like giraffes, elephants, rhinoceroses. Yeah, some animals today have some, have something similar to dinosaurs. So what? I don't get the logic in that. Oh. Oh, humans and apes have five fingers. Therefore, we don't exist. If it works in nature, then it works. I don't get the logic in that. And good luck trying to find an animal today that has a gigantic sail on its back, just like Spinosaurus. Good luck with that. So I really looked deeper into it, and apparently there have been no dinosaur discoveries that we know of before the late 1800s, which I thought was pretty odd. 
Okay, when you say that, I know that you did not do your research. There have been plenty of dinosaur fossils found before the 1800s. Here's a book that I recommend. It's a great book. The First Fossil Hunters by Adrian Meyer. She gives plenty of sources for ancient people before the 1800s who found dinosaur fossils. But they had no idea what they were. So that led to legends of these, of these made up creatures like the griffin, which came from protoceratops fossils. Because back then they had no idea what they were. They had no comprehension of deep time. I mean, how come the Native Americans never found any dinosaurs? Except they did find dinosaurs, but they just had no idea what they were. Yes, but also, think about it, Hollywood, like how many millions of dollars did Jurassic Park make? Really? Jurassic Park is in on the conspiracy? You realize that the filmmakers made Jurassic Park for entertainment purposes, right? I mean, that sounds absurd. Jurassic Park is in on the conspiracy? You need to back that up with evidence. I'll be waiting. Several bad puns later. Still waiting. Not evidence. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Still no evidence? I figured. Maybe you guys just want to believe what a science book or your teacher says without ever really thinking about it for yourself and actually thinking, wow, this, this really doesn't make sense. You're making this out to be an appeal to authority fallacy. You're saying, hey, well, the scientist and the paleontologist say that it's true, so therefore it's true. It's not true. Just because the scientists or the paleontologists say so, it's true because they have evidence to back it up. Do I need to bring up my Spinosaurus fossil again for you? And so if dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, which is, isn't even possible. It's impossible for dinosaurs to live Millions of years ago? You don't understand the fossil record. Each layer is found. Each some dinosaurs have on different layers. And their layers are all dated to different time periods because of radiometric dating. Think about it, do you know how deep the bones would have to be? Like, why would anybody want to dig that long? I, I, I just, uh, it just does not make sense to me. And if you dug millions of years into the, into the earth, then wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't you hit the core at that point? Like, millions of years ago, like, I, you would have to dig that deep. I think, I think dinosaurs are fake. It's made up. You guys have been lied to since you were kids. Uh, I and this she is so ignorant. <laughs> Nobody's ever even been to the car. The deeper down in the earth you go, the hotter and more dense it is. You know what? Fossils are not going to be at the core. They'll burn them up. You 
you'll find fossils in the lithosphere in the upper crust! Uh, uh, uh. I have to go! Oh. oh, I can't take this anymore! I can't take this anymore! exist. That's too absurd. Let me tell you something. You see these? You call my eyes! Look at this insanity! In my eyes! In my eyes! Why are these called again? My eyes! I am dead! Freaking serious! There's actually people out there who deny the existence of dinosaurs! No! No! People are having to say, Eric! Why do you let dinosaur deniers piss you off? Aren't there more important things to worry about? Do you realize what these people are doing? You wonder why misinformation is, is so rapid in the U.S. Dinosaur deniers are contributing to that! They're contributing to misinformation! They're contributing to not as good of critical thinking! I met people who don't even know what a logical fallacy is. People should be educated on this on this stuff. What? These dinosaur deniers, man! They're contributing to the downfall of society! <sighs> Paleontologists get paid millions and millions of dollars for for faking dinosaur fossils. 
But the average salary of a paleontologist, Aaron Raw, fact checked her on this. Let me take it over to him now. So that in several of your videos, you mentioned that what goes on daily uh, is that paleontologists are awarded millions of dollars for assembling or sculpting dinosaurs out of spackle and rocky rubble. Uh, but your seventh video showed a, a rare and complete skeleton, not, again, not of a dinosaur. It was a plesiosaur, which is actually on the Lepidosaur line, not on the Archosaur line, so it wouldn't classify as a dinosaur in any sense. But it was an exquisite fossil in perfect condition, very rare value, and yet, even though you should get top dollar for that, and you said that these paleontologists get like a million dollars for every single one, the highest bid on the video you showed was $30,000, and they'd already admitted in the, in the bidding that they were overpaying that. To be honest, that's not my video. That's somebody else in the group's video. Um, okay. However, a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull or something just sold on eBay for millions of dollars, and they weren't even sure if it was 100% true. They, they weren't even sure if it was 100% true. What do you mean 100% true? They, even by their standards, they like as they were selling it, they had no way to tell them that it was for real. Okay, well then somebody's a foolish buyer then because there's always a way to tell if it's real. I mean, just in a, in a momentary search. Uh, when you said that, you know, we, people have an option. When you, you laid out your rubble, right, your pieces of rocks, and you handed out a spackle and said, okay, if, you, if you're a paleontologist, then you're going to construct a brachiosaur because we tell you that this is going to be a brachiosaur. And so we have to manufacture a 40-meter brachiosaur out of your pieces of rock um, it, because the, what's on the line is millions of dollars. Of course, I looked it up, and according to ehow.com, the salary of a paleontologist runs from 41000 to 114000 uh, per year. And then MyPursuit.com says that the average is 72000 with half of all paleontologists making between fifty one and 100000 And the top 10% still don't make as much as petroleum geologists. So if you want the real money, then you go to petroleum geology, which also supports dinosaurs, but it's for the oil companies trying to find fossil fuels. Yeah, and... So do, you, you, do you accept that there's no? Do you accept that there's no millions of dollars in oh. any of these cases? And what's telling? After R and Raw corrected her, she didn't say anything. She just kept going on and on about how dinosaurs never existed. What? What? You have got to be kidding me. What pisses me off so much about dinosaur deniers, it teaches people to deny evidence! That's why they're such a threat! Like there's this guy named Kenny Hornrickson who came onto my live streams? Who denied the existence of dinosaurs? Let me show you! Let's see. Oh, we got a dinosaur d d denier. Actually, dinosaurs exist, dude. Yes, Kenny, yeah, Kenny. They exist. exist. Why, Why do you not believe do? dinosaurs Why do you say exist? I don't believe this dinosaurs thing? exist. Oh, Did I show you guys much? how would you explain birds? How would you explain birds? Explain to me that. Okay, dinosaurs? if someone says that they don't believe dinosaurs existed, they are denying reality. Did, did yeah. I show you? Okay. <laughs> Evidence would convince you? During this live stream, I showed you my my vertebrae of a Spinosaurus. That is evidence. That's yeah, I have yeah. an ammonite fossil as well, well. and it's evidence as well. I mean, well. Did you, I mean fossils in a museum are legit evidence. But yeah, Kenny, were you not here like during the live stream when I showed my Spinosaurus vertebrae? Seriously. Okay. Whatever you say.
I can't believe I have an ammonite fossil. Oh, and there's an ammonite fossil at the mall. There's an ammonite oh, fossil. Let's show it again. Okay, I'll be right back. And I have a fossil too. If uh, Kenny, if you're watching. Oh boy. Okay. Here's a fossil, and here's another fossil. Here is the uh, suit of authenticity to prove this is a real Spinosaurus vertebrae. Yeah, and this, right here, a real vertebrae of a Spinosaurus. And, and this, this is, also, is oh, the fuck. evidence. <laughs> and and this is also a fossil, um, fossilized uh, poop. Oh, um, so that would be top relite then. Yeah, this is oh. our. I think it's her. Sorry. Yeah, I you didn't it it it. I didn't carve it. The certificate oh, of authenticity. I am so sorry. There, there is a number. Kenny, are you serious? Kenny, I didn't carve oh, it. Boy. The certificate of authenticity. Copy that. Kenny. Exactly. You didn't call that exactly, number. Um, Kenny. Exactly, Kenny. Wow. Listen to what I he like said. I like the collection that you did. Who, oh, me? Hey, hey, hey. I, I mean, hey, Ryan. That's Spidey and Eric. Like What's my YouTube uh, channel? Yeah. It's, it's Ryan Penzig 97 oh, If you want to yeah. If you uh, want to spell my, my last name, it's P-E-N-D-Z-I-K. Yeah. I, I carved this. Name, I got it online. Correctly. But Kenny, how can I carve something that I got uh, online. I swear, if these people spread more like wildfire, the whole world's gonna come to an end. It's gonna, it's gonna be the apocalypse. We can't let that happen. If you still think that I'm not dead serious that these people exist. Let me tell you my encounters with them. I've actually met some in person. In 2015, my friend Courtney and I went to Jurassic Quest. It's this exhibit where you see robot dinosaurs, talk to paleontologists, have dinosaur fossils there and whatnot. It was right after the first Jurassic World came out, which made sense, of course. Courtney and I had fun. We went back to her house I was talking to her stepdad about it. I thought that it would make sense, you know, try to have a conversation with him about what, what, we, what we were just at. Then he started ranting to me about how dinosaurs never existed. He thinks that they're all fake. Some people just buried them. He was trying to argue with me about it. And then in 2019 at, 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 at my school, I ran into one of the old special ed teachers from my high school who now works at the school I go to now. And then she was asking me, hey, Eric, what are you doing lately? I told her I'm going to college to become a paleontologist. And then she said, oh, I think that those dinosaur fossils are all just fake. People just carve them, but that's just me. I was trying to explain to her the evidence of why they're not fake, they're real bones. You want to know what that was like? Trying to explain that to her? <laughs> I could tell the cognitive dissonance kicked into her and she was saying continuously, Oh, that's just me! That's just me! That's just me! Blatantly ignoring the evidence I was telling her. And she's a special ed teacher. She's a special ed teacher!
Mr. Illick! Hello? Wake up, Mr. Illick! Wake up! Mr. Illick, wake up! Oh, wait, what? Where am I? Okay, something's going on here! Where am I? Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello? I seriously have no idea how in the world that I got in here! Okay. Something, Mr. Illick. It's very serious, Mr. Illick. Oh, Genie. Well, I'm I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see running right right into somebody who I know. Can you tell me what's going on here? I have to warn you about something, Mr. Illick. It's something very serious. It's very serious. You better be on the lookout, Mr. Illick. It has to do with... with dinosaurs, Mr. Illick. It could be vital. Be vital to... to everything you just ranted about. There's only one future, Mr. Illick. Well, things... are not gonna be the end of the world. Be on the lookout, Mr. Illick, okay? Oh. Um. Okay. I'll be on the lookout, I guess. I'm just surprised that you came here because I didn't even rub your lamp. It must be... It must be pretty important, I guess. Genie, it just really pisses me off! They're having an effect on critical thinking! I'm afraid that what if it gets worse? I have that feeling that it, it is gonna get worse! Just remember, Mr. Eric, this is gonna be a crazy, a scary adventure. But there's only one future where you win. Only one. People will be on your side to help you through this, Mr. Illick. But it's gonna get ugly. Just remember, if you need anything, eh, Mr. Illick, just rub my lamp and make three wishes. I gotta go, Mr. Illick. I've seen the future. It's not good, Mr. Illick. I thought I should warn you in advance. I got to go now, Mr. Eric. Bye bye. I'm getting freaked out. talking about um, maybe he's just messing with me maybe he's 
I have no idea. You know, maybe I shouldn't worry about it too much, you know. You know what? Home now. How about I just hang out? What? Who in the world are you? <laughs> Why, hello, Mr. Enix. You might not remember. Remember 11 years ago? When you smashed that country music CD? That was 11 years ago! What does that have anything to do with this, but... I'm tied up the same way! What's going on here? Oh... But let me tell you... When you smashed that country music CD, that was actually me, Mr. Enoch. I have come back for revenge, but I've gotten reincarnated as a different CD now. Something far, far worse. <laughs> Here I am, Mr. Egg. You thought you could beat me. No, this is all I need to do. You're the worst dad ever! Oh, son, you mustn't do this to me. No, son, please. You do the crime! You do the time! Are you ready to die? One, two, three! Die! 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 No! 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 Oh no! 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 <laughs> no, 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 please, no, no, no. Why, yes, Mr. Enoch, I have come back from the dead to seek my revenge against you for smashing me 11 years ago. But this time, I'm not playing around. I have an evil plan to seek my revenge. No, 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 I'm all tied up. I'm taped up. I can't get out. Please, please. And I know exactly what I'm going to do. 
Because I know you hit country music. I'm gonna torture you with some country music. Uh, Justin, do you, uh, Justina Boober CD? I don't hate country music anymore. I actually don't mind it. Now. Oh, well, uh, well, that's got awkward. I guess I'll torture you some other way. I know how to torture you now. No! anymore. Every single individual in the entire world will all believe dinosaurs never existed. Everybody will be a dinosaur denier. And I will make sure to win this time. <laughs> But first, Mr. Eric, I'm gonna continue torturing you with shaving! Mr. Eric! What in the world going on here? Mustache man! Mustache man! Please help me! Save me, mustache man! Please! That's for all that 
terrible music. Oh yeah, Mr. Jossie Beaver CD, do you want to know what the difference is between you and a Snickers bar? A Snickers bar has nuts. Alright. CD. See what you got. <laughs> Let's get on, CD. This means war. All right, Mr. Eric. This is war. Come get me, bro. Yeah. You're not gonna defeat me! I defeated you once before! And I'll beat you again! Simba! Get the CD! Help me, Simba! Get the CD! Help me! Take that CD! I'm gonna win this one! Simba, get the CD! Yeah, sit on it! Lay on it, Simba! Yes! We won again! It's gone! Where'd it go? <laughs> you thought it was that easy? <laughs> Such a fool, Mr. Eric. For I, Mr. Eric, have already collected the first stone. And I'm gonna snap as of now with the first stone. I just need two more, and then the whole world will turn into dinosaurs. No, 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 no. I smashed you once before. I gotta find, I gotta find a hammer. Gotta... No, this can't happen again. Where are you? No. Ah. Uh, uh, curse you, CD. Simba, we gotta get out of here. Follow me, dog. We gotta get out of here. Come on. It's not safe for us here. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're not gonna. We gotta get out of here. It's not safe for us here.
outside of dinosaur deniers! Oh. Hello? Oh, you need the help in, sir. Okay, your timing is perfect. I've been driving for days because I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you that I'm not on any drugs, but this killer Justin Bieber CD wants to turn the whole world into dinosaur deniers, and it really pisses me off that there are people who don't believe in the existence of dinosaurs, and the CD's trying to collect these stones to turn people into dinosaur deniers, and if the CD wins, the whole world is screwed, and that's why that I drove away to get away from that thing. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm dead serious. Okay, okay. Oh, I'll chill. Uh, Simba. Are, are you okay? Are you Am here? I okay? Are yes, I need help. Okay. Yes! 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 Well, we gotta either A, stop the CD from digging the stones, or two, we gotta destroy it! I'll be right there. Finally, I can get away from that CD. I finally got to get in. Dogs. Hey, dog, stop what 
Dogs. Dogs. So, so then I, I, I went on full on war with the CD, then I smashed it. I thought that that, that was that, that was the end. Sergeants. Dogs. Seats. So I smashed the CD with a hammer, thinking that that would be the end. I thought it was the end, but then 11 years later, the CD got reincarnated as a Justin Bieber c CD. Oh dear. Yeah. And then it said it wants its revenge on me for smashing it with a hammer. So I think I can see why the CD's mad at me because that I destroyed it once before. Now it wants its revenge. I was ranting about dinosaur deniers. And now it wants its revenge on me so to turn the whole world, not, now not just the region, the whole entire world into dinosaur deniers. So it has dispute with you. So what? So it has dispute. I'm speaking English. It has dispute with you. Yes! Yes! And because of that, our world is in jeopardy. Yes! Because if the whole world turns into dinosaur deniers, that's going to be the end of critical thinking, which means it's going to be the end of the world. I see. As we speak. I see. We've got to stop the CD. I will help you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about you? Barbara, I think you're crazy. You th think I'm crazy, huh? Should I call the cops? Well, we might have to call the cops in order to have some help to stop the CD, but, but not on me. I think it's do not be ahead, stupid, and Paul will not believe you. We have to do this solo. <laughs> oh, no, no. I promise that I'm not out of my mind. I, I, should, I don't have proof, but when I find proof, I will prove it, okay? Great. I will fall to it. Okay. But if the CD comes, if it comes here, if it some way, somehow figures out that I came here, do you have any weapons? Oh, we have weapons. What kind? We Big weapons. You. We okay. have big weapons. Okay, good. At least if it comes, we'll have weapons. This is not good. This is not good. Just breathe. Breathe. So, your names. Okay, we haven't been properly introduced. My name's Eric. You are? Natasia. It's nice to meet you. Natasia? Okay, and you are? I am Barbara. So it's not Barbara, it's Barbara? It's Barbara. Okay. My father's name was Bob, and he could not not name me Bob. Okay, you want it to look like a girl's name? Yes, so I am Barbara. Okay, that works. And I'm partially Russian, so I have a little bit of an accent, but not very much. Okay, okay. Okay. No, wait. I think I know a proof. Okay. The CD and I had a full battle at my apartment, and I think it came to my apartment to A, to seek revenge on me, and B, it did collect the first stone. The first stone, it was at my apartment! No! You fool! What did you think you were doing having that stone? I didn't think that the CD was ever going to come back, it but, 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 but the CD got... Four more now. Yes. No, it needs two more. Two more? It has already got in the other two. So it's, it's collected one. It needs two more. If it gets the other two, we're screwed. And so the CD yeah, told me... Yeah, there are only three stones. Yes, three stones, and, and it has yes. one. Yes, yes, and yes. then the CD told me that... This guy named Pete, who would make me repeat myself over and over again, helped him get reincarnated. I had no idea that he ever was going to get reincarnated. In, in my defense, I had no idea. You are speaking of Pete McScrooge, yes? Yes. He is an eldritch deity. I am not surprised. Oh man, he, he really got on my nerves because he would make me repeat myself over and over again. Mm, yes. Okay. I just... 
we have got to stop the CD from getting the other stones. Because if it does, I know that there's a gauntlet. If the CD gets the gauntlet with the stones, that's it. That's the end. No, no! No, no, no. I think I need something to drink. Have anything for me to drink? We have pure vodka. That works for me. To, to drink it all away. Give me that, give me that. Wait, this is the least dangerous? Very, very, yes, there's nothing sharp here. But, but the hammer helped me defeat the CD last time! That's what you think, and what has happened now? It came back, yeah, good point. So this is fine if you want to uh, temporarily disable him. This here you can do a stab, but it will not do much more than scratch CD. This is good knife. Uh, this saw, you can sell him in half, but he will bind together over time. Now this laser gun. That's a laser gun? Very yes, it is a laser gun, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it is invisible heat laser, it is very good, very good. Uh, as you can see by the door. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, um, yes, this is very good as well. Um, I don't recommend it though for collateral damage. Now this. This is the good one. Okay. This is a, a simple butter knife? This is more than just a simple butter knife. Wake up. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very far. Okay. I do not want to get hurt. Okay. Whoa! What, what was that thing? This is the dinosaur. The dinosaur? Dinosaur, yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, very sharp. You must be very careful. But, with this, you can defeat. Okay, 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 okay. I feel a lot more confident now. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you that I'm not out of my mind, okay? Ah! <laughs> 
You'll never win! You will die! She... Do you believe me now? Yes! You know... I didn't just come here... To come after Mr. Eric. I've come here because... I know... The other two stones are here. Alright, Stevie. I defeated you once before with a hammer. So, yeah, I'm gonna give you the karma that you deserve. Come at me, bro! Why won't you die? Oh, 
wasn't me. I corrupted him to make you believe that dinosaurs never existed. <laughs> Just like the whole entire world will believe the same thing. Including you, Mr. Eric. You will become the one thing that pissed you off the most. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Simba, this is the end, dog. This is the end. Simba. Simba. No. No. <laughs> This is Bob Barker from 123 News here to give you a special news report. So it was thought that for many, many years that dinosaurs existed, but all of a sudden nobody believes in dinosaurs anymore because it was revealed that dinosaurs never existed. Never! And I'm here with a scientist. The scientist can tell us the truth about dinosaurs. Please tell us, did dinosaurs exist? On the dig, we found that the bones, the supposed bones, they are not real bones. We found that they were actually made of the exact same materials that are found in many forms of rock, Ignatius, Cretaceous, Jurassic, Fantastic, Fantastic, etc. These never existed. It's been proven by science and chemistry. Trust me, I'm a scientist. It's true because she says it's true. And I must say, here on live television, I used to be a dinosaur believer. But not anymore! They never existed! It was all a lie! They never existed! Not even once!
को इस बात का जवाब देना होगा अपनी सरकार को और अदालत को Oh my gosh, so my brother doesn't believe in dinosaurs anymore and he's freaking out. Damn it, bro. But this dinosaur thing seems a little sketchy to me. If there were actually giant lizards, I think I'd know about it. These guys are saying they ruled the earth. If that's true, who voted them out of power? If they turned into birds, why don't they sing? You know what I think? I think it's a conspiracy. There's a fossil factory somewhere in China. They're forging these things. Look at that. Somebody watched Pete's Dragon a few too many times. What's next? Pegasus? Ah! Why the hell do people think dinosaurs are so freaking real? They're not real! I'm gonna make a freaking report about this crap! Dinosaurs, come on. I mean, I don't get it. They look like birds. I mean, do dinosaurs have feathers? Come on. I mean, so what? What was their roar? <gasps> I don't know, I don't find like a big chicken intimidating. So come on, they never existed. The bones are probably just big birds or something. What the? What's going on? My daughter came home, and this is what they gave her: a keychain of a dinosaur. It makes noise. It gives a light, and I have no idea what to do with it. Well, why do you give this to a little girl? There's no reason for that. So we burn it. Because we all know there's no such thing as dinosaurs. <laughs> How do you feel about dinosaurs? Oh, they never existed. I don't believe in dinosaurs. I don't believe in dinosaurs. I never did. I think they're baloney, hogwash, and so forth. I'm a Christian, 
and Christians don't believe in dinosaurs. They're never mentioned in the Bible, not once. Teachers, please, stop teaching about dinosaurs. Learning about dinosaurs is partially why society is corrupt. There's countless low lives, parasites, and so forth. You know, parasites armed to the teeth. Are you scared? You should be. No, they're not. I don't know why people some say they never existed. That's what never existed. I never believed for one day. Now sick. I didn't believe for one second. I didn't believe they existed. Ah. That's what I don't say for people. Ah. Any ah. 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 smoke. Ah. Ah, the dinosaurs! It didn't exist, y'all see! Ah, ah. Yeah, ah, I just don't... Ah, dinosaurs! They never existed from first place with little liars! Y'all are liars! Ah, I believe... I believe in dinosaurs. I never did! Mm. Mm. Mm.
Why, hello! Oh, thank goodness that you are here. You have no idea how truly urgent this is. I was hoping that you, you would come find me. This is exactly what I predicted that would happen. You see, what is you, your name? Not fast. Yeah. It's my human name, but my reptilian name is Not fast. Yes. Yes. Who are you? All right, Natasha. Okay. I will introduce me. I am the genie. I've been on with many adventures with Alec throughout the years. I've known him for 11 years now. So I've known him for a very, very long time. And this, I say, is his most dangerous adventure yet. But you see, with me being the genie, being all powerful, I, I actually wanted you two to meet because I knew that at least you could be one of the people who, who could help him. I predicted that this would happen, that somebody who, who is a dinosaur in the form of a human being would help Eric in his journey to stop the CD from taking over the whole entire world. Although he has, he has won so far already, but there still is time. Okay. I gotta tell you the rules, okay? Listen to me. Open up your eardrums and listen to me. I get three wishes, and only three wishes. Make those three wishes count. And if I were you, use those wishes wisely to help stop the CD. Make your first wish. Really? My first wish. All right, your first wish, Natasia Asaurus, has been granted. All right, Natasia, please, I beg of you, do not forget this one thing. Since you have my lamp, if you need me, I'm just one rub away, okay? Remember, I'm here to help you and, and Eric. I'm here for all of you. Just rub my lap if you need me, okay? I hope you remember that. Please think about that. I'm gone now.
six hours later. Dinosaurs are real. I mean, I would highly encourage you if you really don't believe the dinosaurs exist. My daughter worked at the Dallas Museum of Natural History. As a volunteer, you can go down into the lab, they'll bring in the bones from the digs. You can go to the digs yourself, dig up the dinosaurs yourself, see how they evaluate what they are, see how they can put the bones in a CAT scan. As soon as they get the acid wash, because you do have some debris, there are some some concretions on them. You have to put them in an acid wash. That's what I did with uh, with this, for example. It's not that we take a hammer and smash it together and then glue something with spackle. What I pulled out of the ground was essentially this. It just had pieces of mineral stuck to it, so I put it in an acid bath. You can do the same thing with soil. Uh, with some soil, you can put that in an acid bath, and then when you put it under a microscope, they won't be held together in a concrete form anymore. They'll be in individual jumbles, and you can pick up microscopic organisms, fossils of microscopic organisms, right from that. So, I mean, I would encourage you, if this really is your position, and if truth matters to you, that's what I would suggest you do. Go to your local museum, have them take you down there, show you that the bone really is a bone. And that it's not an elephant bone, and that it doesn't have any other explanation, and that the bones did. If you have a bone from an animal, you accept that that means that, that animal existed. So, in this cabinet here, we have a dinosaur that's called Penaceratops. And so, it's related to a dinosaur that um, you guys have probably heard of Triceratops. Um, and so, it's one of these dinosaurs that has these horns and then a big frill coming back behind the head. And it's called Penaceratops because it has five horns rather than three like the Triceratops that has two extra cheek horns as well. Um, and we have most of the skull preserved here but it's in a number of different pieces. Um, so in this top drawer here we're looking at the front part of the skull. This is the beak here that would have been used to clip vegetation that this animal would have ate. In this drawer here, this is the whole back part of the skull in the brain case. Um, and this ball at the back is called the occipital condyle. And 
And this ball would have connected the skull to the base of the spinal, um, base of the vertebrae. And uh, kind of amazing to me that this ball supported this whole huge, massive skull of this animal. I guess. It's sharp enough. Six and a half hours later. Uh. Uh. Huh. Whoa, okay. No idea what happened. Whoa, you look familiar. But you don't. Are you Natasha? Whoa, 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 okay, Natasha. What in the world's going on here? Can you tell me what's going on? Dinosaur denier. Even you. Oh no, no, no! How long has it been? Too long, my friend. Too long.
find any. Natasia, source! I see that you found Alec. Marvelous job. So, what will be your next wish, Natasia, source? <sighs> My wish. I want water, but my wish is that Eric can find the Dino Sword. We have tried and failed. Help us find it, please. All right, Natasha Soyuz. Very, very wise wish that you just made. And you know what? Your second wish has now been granted. You should have made a wish for water. Oh, wait, there, there is a water fountain over there. There is? Yes, I see it. Do you not? You must have tiny human eyes. Uh, yeah. I guess dinosaur eyes are not as sophisticated as us homo avians, but there was a study that said Tyrannosaurus rex had binocular eye vision, so Jurassic Park lied to us. Fully aware of the lies of yeah. the humans. Yeah. So, I get the dinosaur. And then you find Abra or anyone else okay. to help us, okay? I will, I will do it. Thank you. been expecting you. Oh, you have? Uh, well, the genie did send me here to, to find the dino sword. So, uh, who are you? I am the great Sivart. Sivart? Sivart. Sivart? Sivart, like, you know, civil, except with a little bit of art at the end. Sivart. Okay, Sivart, okay. What does that name mean? It means a great trial will await you, but the, very civil, but with class. Okay, I can get behind that. So, the genie made it clear to me that you know where the dino sword is at. Oh, I indeed know where the dino sword is. Okay, could you show me? I can. I can. Okay, I'll follow you then. I said that I can. Not that it could I, could I do it. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> I am the gold global one, aren't I? <laughs> All right, so let's go then now, shall we? Yes, we shall go to it. Okay, so I have some questions, Sav Savat, Savert, wh whatever. Uh, so how did you manage to not turn into a dinosaur denier? I want to know that. First of all, it's Savart. Learn it well. Second, I have lived long before you were even born. Um, maybe even longer than your parents. Or your grandparents. Or your great, great, great grandparents. Oh, I'm just going to say it right now. I am over 10,000 years old. So, any of those denias, the um, claims, they have no effect on me. Okay, well, sorry about your name. I'm not that very good with, with foreign names. So just please be patient with me, okay? So, uh, okay, so another question. The sword... Uh, why is it that this sword is the one thing that could defeat the CD? I mean, I'm still blown away that the CD even came back after I smashed it with a hammer. I thought that would have been con conclusive, but obviously not. But this sword is. So, could you explain to me why this sword is the one thing that can defeat the CD? I accept your apology. As for the dinosaur... Sword. <laughs> um... The way that the legends have said it, when the asteroid hit the Earth, what happened was that primitive human beings have got a piece of the asteroid and they have molded it into the greatest weapons available, including the dinosaur. You see, the chemicals inside said asteroid just happened to be the right ingredients just to mold it together to kill dinosaur deniers. Think of it as, as like, um, bleach against pneumonia. Ah, there it is, the dinosaur. Oh, isn't it just a beauty to behold? Ah, <sighs> uh, don't look, don't look into it, because the sun might come out and it might blind you, and then ah, I'm blind. And you don't want that, don't you? Yes. The sword. The sword. All this time, we finally found it. It's a beauty to behold. Yes, it is. Only one that is deemed worthy may touch the sword. Tell me, are you worthy? I think, I truly honestly think that I am. Well, that is very good because I've always been a fan of those Mission Impossible films you were in. Wait, Mission Impossible films? Yeah, aren't you Tom Cruise? No. Oh! I thought Tom Cruise was going to save the world from dinosaur deniers. That would have been like, oh, that's amazing. Sorry to disappoint, but I guess you just got to cruise along now. <laughs> Go get the sword. Okay, fine. All right. Here it is. The moment. Okay, I have to do my exercises first. Alright, Alrighty. Here we go. Time is a factor. Let's do it. One, two, three. Yes. The sword is mine. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. You did it. I did, yes. You're gonna give this movie a happy ending. That, that I will. Because even my movie deserves a happy ending. 
Let's go. All right. Listen to me, Barbara. You do not understand. I have been a dinosaur this entire time. I am actually several hundred thousand years old. I was brought back to life by a scientist in Russia. I am a dinosaur. I am in my, I am in my final stages before I finally in my final form. Come with me. We must be going. Okay. Man. Whew. A whole day. I can't find those two. Where are they? I got the sword. Now I just need to find them. Wait a minute. There they are. Tasia, Barbara, I got the sword. We can now take back the world. Let's find the CD, destroy it. Let's be the heroes. Surprise! Look who has come here! <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have the budget for a real dinosaur. Let's deny these deniers. <laughs> Try to get around that. We can't. This is indestructible. <laughs> You're not smart enough to go around that. <laughs> uh, actually, um, ignore that last part and just get back to the biting thing. Please? No. No! Um, no hard feelings? Eat this. Oh. 
still got it after 10,000 years. Woohoo! Uh, check stick for skill. Oh yeah, CD? I could do this all day and all night! Now, boy, sure. Let me take him. Come on, I'm a tough guy. Come on. Let, let, let me take him, okay? Move away now. I'm going to take him. I said move away. I can take him. Thank you. All right, Eric. Put him up. <laughs> Pete, listen to me. Dinosaurs existed. I can't hear you. Can you repeat that again, please? I said, you buffoon. You loony! Dinosaurs existed! Uh, we have proof here. Listen to me. Here, I say it, then you repeat after me. You moron! Dinosaurs existed! <laughs> I still can't hear you! How do I get through to you? Arguing with you is like playing chess with a pigeon. No matter how good you are at playing chess, you're gonna knock the pieces over crap on the board and strut around like you won. Pete. Maybe we got off on the wrong. Sorry for insulting you. I probably shouldn't have done that. But you listen to me, okay? Just listen for a moment for what I have to say. We have evidence, physical evidence we can hold in our hands that the dinosaurs did exist. Right here. Look at this. Okay, as long as you, you need, take your time. This is evidence. A tooth of a Spinosaurus. If dinosaurs didn't exist, we want to find physical evidence. There's no reason for this massive conspiracy People have dedicated their entire lives to study these creatures that once existed. Just take a look at it, okay? Here, well, let me hand you it so you, so you can see for yourself. Wait. So, dinosaur. Dinosaurs did exist. See there? I'm not gonna let you get away with this. No! 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 This can't be! No! Donkey Kong! Come at me! Hey! 
<laughs> you see, Pete, I have a few tricks up my sleeve, too. <laughs> Why, yes, Mr. Eric, Pete is dead, and soon, so will you. Dinosaurs never existed. You are not real. Say your last words. Jim Carrey! Really? Where? <laughs> yes. Yes. I am inevitable. Come on, Eric. Let's do it. I know you can do it! Put that CD back in its place! There's a reason why we don't use CDs anymore! Yeah, you are a primitive form of entertainment! You didn't realize that by the blood getting into my skin, it was just the right chemicals that it could transform me into a dinosaur. And on top of that, 
want my stones are now inside of my body. Shady, do you want to know what pisses me off? You! the crocodile back in his place as a myth, as a non-legend. are gonna be so proud of me. I am so gonna get my wizarding degree after this. Tassiosaurus, what is your last wish? Gee, my final wish is for Eric to permanently be a dinosaur and for him and I to be together forever. Very well, Natasiosaurus. It was a pleasure working with you both during this adventure. You have me, Lamp. If you need me again, I'm just a rub away. Toodles!
you know, if I had that lamp, I would wish for Simba and I to be reunited to. defeated my brother. Well, I defeated Eric once before in a different dimension 12 years ago now, but I'm not gonna let him get away with that now. <laughs> and when I come after him, I will not be alone. <laughs> 